What's up everybody, this is Danny, and this is my brand new Ultimate 4K gaming TV setup. This one took a little while to build, but it's one of my favorite setups that I have in the house right now. So let me break down the setup and tell you why I went with some of the things that I did, especially when it comes to gaming. For the TV, I went with the 65 inch Samsung Q9FN QLED 4K TV because of a few things. First, the design is nice with slim bezels. It's got a clean look, especially with the square stand. And I love the fact that the TV only has one connection on the back, so cable management is a breeze with this TV. I can manage all of the HDMI and audio sources from this simple box, keeping all of the cables clean. The second reason is that this room has a lot of natural sunlight coming into it and the Q9FN is a really bright panel reaching up to 2000 nits with full array local dimming so I have no problem seeing this TV on sunny days. This is a quantum dot LCD panel but the colors are very vibrant with excellent contrast levels and while the blacks are not quite OLED levels they are really close so this TV is perfect for all my gaming situations and watching my favorite movies and TV shows. Now this stunning media cabinet is the BDI Corridor and I went with this cabinet first and foremost because of the minimal and clean design and beautiful build quality. It is made of stained solid wood, a really sleek finish on the top with matte tempered glass that's satin etched. It blends in perfectly with the wood and I appreciate that unique look. There are built-in easy to move hidden wheels at the bottom so when I need to readjust to get to some of the cable management, I don't have to break my back. I have the charcoal stained ash color which is perfect for the setup but it is available in a few other colors so if you want to check it out I will leave a link down below for you but for gaming there are a few reasons why this media cabinet is key. The ventilated door design and other ventilation slots throughout the cabinet means that my consoles stay cool which is really important and the middle part of the console opens up to secluded storage which is perfect for storing my game sleeves. 4K Blu-ray discs, extra controllers, or whatever else I want to put in there. There are three compartments so I can keep everything nice and organized. The slots and holes for cables inside the cabinet make it really easy to handle cable management. There are straps included on the back of the console as well as extra ones to keep everything together. And while I have a little work to do still, I think it looks great. The back panels of the console are also movable just to make it easy to access the cables back there. There's also a built-in TV strap on the back, so if you have wild kids like I do, that's a great safety measure to have. So let me give you a tour of what's inside the cabinet. Let's start with the left side since it has the most powerful gaming console out right now, and that is the Xbox One X. I love the fact that the One X can do 4K HDR gaming in 60 frames per second, and this paired with the Samsung Q9FN is top-notch. Since I shoot in 24 frames per second, you really can't get a good idea of what this looks like, but trust me, it's buttery smooth. No noticeable gaming input lag, the 4K HDR looks amazing, and I didn't really feel the need to add a soundbar because the TV itself does have pretty good built-in speakers, but I do have a Sonos Play Bar to add down the line if I feel like I need it. I also love the fact that the One X also has a built-in 4K Blu-ray player, so while this is the most expensive console, it's my favorite in terms of overall entertainment. Below the Xbox, I have an Nvidia Shield TV. This is still the ultimate 4K set-top box and also a great way to play mobile games on your TV. This is running Android TV, so you have access to a lot of games. And if you have a PC with a compatible Nvidia graphics card, then you can stream your PC games to the TV, which is a bonus. The middle part has the Samsung I.O. box that I showed you earlier and it keeps my retro gaming fix in line with the Nintendo Classic and I also have the SNES Classic. Sometimes you just have to play some old school games and I love these little retro consoles and I can't wait for the next one. Continuing with my Nintendo theme, on the right side has my Nintendo Switch setup. I have the Mario Pro controller dock and also my Switch docked. But if you've noticed, my Switch does look a little bit different this is done with dbrand skins. There are a ton of different colors available, but I decided to go with the carbon fiber and red combo to match the Mario theme. 
Even the dock is customized with the black, red, and white theme. So let me know what you think. And if you're interested in customizing your Switch, I'll leave a link down below for you. I'm still having lots of fun playing Mario Kart. And now with Fortnite available and with all the games that were announced at E3, I'm really excited about the future of the Switch. Last but not least, I have the PS4 Pro and this is the white Destiny version. I really love the way this console looks. It's so clean. This console is also perfect for the Samsung TV with 4K gaming. God of War looks absolutely jaw-dropping on this setup. So while it took me a while to build up, I have everything here to satisfy my console gaming needs. I covered all the consoles, but what about PC gaming? Most PC gamers are probably going to play on a monitor, but the Samsung Q9FN is also a fantastic option. My buddy Board at Work did a great video on this. Either you do a direct connection to the TV or you Steam Link that's built into the TV so you have the PC side covered with silky smooth frame rates and crispy 4K resolution. So this could be the perfect TV for a gaming setup. So what do you guys think of my 4K TV gaming setup? I think it's pretty slick. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you have any kind of suggestions for me, things to add, maybe some things to take away, then also leave those in the comment section below. If you're wondering, the lamp on the corner is from Ikea with a Lifex smart bulb in it so I can change the colors to my liking. And also the light strip behind the TV is a Lifex Z strip. It sticks onto the back of the console, giving the setup a nice colorful glow. So if you're interested in any of this, I will leave it all linked down below. I mentioned these smart bulbs and light strips in a lot of my previous smart home videos. So if you want to check those out, I will also leave those linked. So subscribe for a lot more like this. Let me know if you want to see a budget setup next time. I think a lot of people are probably interested in that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like the setup and I'll see you guys in the next one.